You might think given timber is one of the oldest building materials around, we know plenty about it. We know, for example, that building with wood ticks all the sustainability boxes. It's easy to work with and through biophilia, it even makes us feel good when we're inside a timber building. The more we research it, however, the more we realise there is to learn. And that's exactly what's happening in Queensland. Every day inside these walls, timber is tested, twisted, destroyed and studied like never before. This is the University of Queensland's Centre for Future Timber Structures and it's about learning more than we've ever known before about wood on behalf of industry so we can gain the many benefits of using more timber. The hub is designed around three themes. The, the first one is about developing innovative solutions. The second one is about transformative benefits where we do develop tools and metrics. And the third part is about planning change so that we look at policy and practices and procurement. So that's the big picture of how it works and they, all those themes interrelate with one another. A good example is fire. We all know wood burns and that very fact has caused issues with using timber in larger buildings and led to very comprehensive building regulations. You've got a lot of enthusiasm for timber but there's still caution from insurance companies because of fire concerns. Grenfell fire didn't help things. So we've actually partnered in, a, in an unofficial capacity with a timber innovation hub that's running out of the UK at the moment. And they're addressing a lot of the concerns that the insurance companies have and some developers have following the Gren Grenfell fires. Although the Grenfell fires was in fact an aluminium plastic cladding that burnt, not the timber, it does still raise concerns. So inside the uni's fire lab, extensive testing is carried out across a range of different scenarios to learn more. It's headed up by an internationally recognised expert. Timber does like to burn. However, what we do know from a lot of the tests that we've done here, a lot of the knowledge base that we currently have in fire safety, is that although timber does burn, it actually can burn in quite a controlled way. And if we can learn how to predict that, learn how to understand its burning behavior in different conditions, then we will be able to design fire safe timber buildings. We leverage off what has happened overseas and we apply it to Australian situation. But we, we will also be doing research here that will feed back into Europe. And that sort of international collaboration is one of the ways where I think we can create a little bit more excitement and acceptance of timber. Just down the laneway from the fire lab is the School of Civil Engineering and Architecture. My name's Kim Baber and I'm a fellow in Civil Engineering and Architecture at the University of Queensland and I'm part of the Future Timber Hub. I'm also an architect. I've got my own practice and I teach here part time and I teach in the School of Architecture I work with the School of Civil Engineering and the School of Architecture doing research into novel timber structures. Novel timber structures which are built in many different shapes and sizes before being tested. We're looking at a whole range of high level applications for using timber in new ways. Part of the work that I do is looking at novel timber structures and how we might rethink the way that timber is joined or the way that we might think about the geometry of timber structures. So we do work closely with the School of Civil Engineering, looking at geometry in structural timber space frames, for instance. New types of structure that might use uh, undervalued timber in applications that perhaps hasn't been used before or hasn't been used in that particular configuration. So Kim, those beautiful bits of timber that you've created, um, you're telling me that they're actually made out of, what, little offcuts? That's right, yeah, so we actually take uh, the leftover pieces once we cut, cut the defects out of utility grade studs. Yeah. And what we're left over with is actually really high quality material, but they're just short and weird lengths. Yeah. Now they're really well suited to going into a special customised layup that goes into this, this bespoke laminated node here. But let's be honest, builders are not going to want to know about short, weird lengths. No, that's right. So what we employ is we employ a whole series of special tools that we've designed, yeah. uh, software tools um, that allow us to automate exactly where they go into that particular connection. And so we think that this really allows what would otherwise be almost a waste material, but certainly a, a less valued uh, use of the resource to go into something that actually is unique and brings a, a much higher value to that product. It's beautiful. 
And it's not just timber as a building material that's being looked at. I'm Dr Lisa Ottenhaus and I'm a lecturer here at the university. My background is in timber connections so what I've been focusing a lot on is looking at um, fasteners that come from Europe and connectors and how they perform in Australian timber products. So we would do screw withdrawal tests for example to characterize that. And the other thing we've been getting involved in is um, adaptable buildings. So we are actually developing connections so that you can take a building apart and reassemble it multiple times over. So we have these connectors. Actually, one of our PhD students developed a new connector system that goes on light timber frame panels and that allows you to then put them together really quick, but also um, disassemble them, rearrange them. What does it mean that we can take buildings apart? It just means we extend their lifespan um, massively. You can change buildings, you can adapt them, you can add a room, you can later remove it if you would want to, you can change the, the size of the building, but you can also relocate them. And that is actually really important now with uh, flooding and bushfire. Adding rooms, taking rooms away, it's a brave new world, but there's plenty more being thought of in our building future. My name is Stavros. Uh, I'm a PhD candidate here at the uh, University of Queensland uh, on my second year. Uh, I, I come from the industry. I used to practice as a fire safety engineer. And now my, the focus of my research is basically um, the use of thin to method coatings, which is a type of paint that basically expands under heat. We have two caps to lock this uh, connector and also two lock screws to fix it. I'm working on a design and evaluate the new reversible connectors for reversible prefabricated timber buildings for Australia market. So I'm doing it in long span floors, hybrid structures, uh, so timber and carbon fiber. This, this floor is part of my work. If you look underneath, there's carbon fiber embedded in, like near surface mounted, it's, it's called. And uh, the idea is to uh, achieve longer spans with the shallower timber elements in the context that uh, timber is not infinite. So the idea is to use it responsibly by mixing it with uh, uh, other materials. The University of Queensland's Future Timber Hub is funded by industry and the Australian Research Council for the next five years, but that may just be the beginning. It's a challenge, but the intent is that if, if we're successful, then the ARC, in a sense, sees this as seed funding. Um, even for this bid, the ARC did encourage us from the first hub to really seriously consider putting in a second bid. So we're really flowing on from that. And ideally, I would like to think that in five years' time, we, we may have enough critical mass in terms of um, being able to keep that partnership between industry and, and academia uh, going forward so it is sustainable.